Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokemon here. Today we have an OU showdown live featuring Archaeops and OU. Choice Ben, Archaeops and OU. Now, why are we using Archaeops and OU? Because I love fossils. I also love dinosaurs. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm a huge... I grew up with Jurassic Park, right? I'm a 90s kid. So, yep. I, I love this and I love using fossils as well. I want more uh, Tyrannosaurus Rexes. And, I mean, we have Tyrantrum. And, I mean, I know Rampartos isn't, but it also kind of looks like... It isn't, obviously. It's not a T-Rex. But, um, anyway... Before we get into this live, if you guys want my team, check out my website, pogini.com. All my teams are always there. You can go through. I have a whole lot of categories and stuff there. But I have a question. If you could make one dinosaur or one, you know, creature from the past, uh, a fossil, and then turn it into a Pokemon, which one would it be and why? I'm asking this because I'm, I'm generally curious. And if you do answer the question, can you give it a little reason why? Even maybe a little backstory. Like, not backstory, but like what moves it might have or something like that. I think it'd be cool. I think it'd be a fun discussion, and I might even make it into a discussion video in the future but we're gonna go over the team and then we're gonna look for some battles i played two games with the team one-on-one -on -one, really fun i killed something with head smash and i was very happy so choice been archaeops archaeops is an incredibly incredibly i was trying to say incredible and then i was like oh, let me just figure it out but incredibly strong pokemon 140 base attack 112 base special attack and it has good physical and special moves and really good speed at base 110 it's only you know drawback is defeatist when this pokemon is at half of its max hp its attack and special attack are halved. Really sucks. They need to give they need to give us a uh, an item already that gets rid of abilities. But we have Archaeops. This could be dual wing beat, but I put head smash just for the nuke. It's gonna Oko like a clef and stuff. Choice Scarf Latias, this lets us skip the surprise KO on Dragapult, but also healing wish support for the team or tricking fat Pokemon. Magnazone lets us trap Corviknight, Ferrothorn, stuff that might be annoying for the first two. Mandibuzz provides us Defog as well as uh, a Ghost Resist. Spit Up Extra Drill helps us out versus Tapu Koko and to a lesser extent Lele, as well as providing rocks and their Shifu just for some power. So let's go ahead and look for a game. I got some Mew More playing in the background, the GOAT, and I'm excited. Hopefully, we can get Archaeops to click Head Smash and pick up a few KOs while also dying in the process. But, this game looks cool because I get to click um, Earthquake a lot. So that's really nice. Is this Envy's team? Well, do I say that just because I see a Meowstic? <laughs> yes, yes I do. Uh, very weak to Zero R. We are very weak to Zero R. That's fine. I like Mana Buzz early because Again, I'm very weak to Zero Aura, and it's one of the electric types that can smash me, so I need to get a foul play off on uh, Zero Aura immediately, that way I can knock it out with Latias' Draco Meteor. Um, Bisharp is checked by her Shifu. I don't think this thing is that much of a threat. Extra Hero will always beat it 1v1. Good lead on the opponent's part. Uh, not really too much I can go out onto the Pokemon besides this, so... They Scald there. They don't get the burn, thankfully. Gonna Iron Defense... <laughs> As they willingly let me trap them, I'm just going to take it. I think they thought it was Specs. Iron Defense, because if they went 0 or I'd be good, but... Alright, so we beat Ferrothorn, which is going to be really nice for Archaeops. That's fine, as long as I don't get a double Protect. I'm basically dead here, though, with Iron Barbs and Rocky Helmet. Uh, which hurts, in a sense, but... It's okay, at the end of the day. Like they will. I've never seen someone willingly let me trap them. Like that. All right, we're gonna bring an extra drill here as Toxapex comes out, and I'm just going to click Earthquake. Uh, I'm not gonna KO. I'll looking like a two KO, and they don't burn me again. So very great. So we're just gonna go for Earthquake again. I have Mold Breaker, so Latias can't come. They have no Earthquake sw switch-ins at all. They bring in Meow Stick. That's physically defensive, so it's more than likely dual screens, which means I'm gonna just get up my Stealth Rock there. Um, we're gonna bring out Mana Buzz because they can't yawn, mean look me. I'm assuming this is the agility crap, so I'm just going to go for Toxic here as a Mystical Fire, and looks like they're not agility, like, uh, weakness policy. Hmm. Let's we'll just drop a Draco. I'm very worried about that Zero, or like I said. Again, I'm Choice Scarf, so I don't have to worry about this, but I thought they were going to be, uh, because they had dual screens, they're going to be that, that variant with the, uh, the what's it called? The, the bulk up type of set, so, not bulk up, excuse me, agility, this is obviously bulk up, yeah, foul play, doing some chip, that's all I need, so I can drop a Draco on that thing and kill it, and Archaeops can clean up after, I don't think Draco kills, luckily my opponent does,
We'll just go our Shifu here and not care. And I U-turn because Toxvex is the most likely member to come out. Or bring out Choice Ben Archeops and we'll get a kill. This should be an Earthquake kill on everything. You definitely died, dude. 568 attack. You're going to give me your Pokemon. Right now. And I'm going to take it. Smart of them to save that. Goodbye. I wonder if they think I'm... Yeah. I'm going hard, Lottie. And I'm always dropping a Draco here. This one's going to be annoying, but I think I can Psychic in game it, so... I'll still go hard, Archeops. They opt to recover. We're going to go for Choice Band Head Smash because I think it's... Oh, it just barely misses out on the KO. Luckily, they go for that move, so I can actually pick up a guaranteed KO here. No! It's still half that power. That's fine. It's fine. Get to click Psychic now. Doesn't matter if they go Bisharp. Literally does not matter. Yep. They should have. Because I have an Urshivu. They're really into that. Uh... I'm going to trick them because if they get their leftovers, then the Plasma Fist can't 2 kill me. If they lock themselves in a knockoff, I'm good. So, yeah. And that way I can just Aqua Jet. I didn't want to Draco and miss. So, I can just Psychic into um, Psychic into Aqua Jet and knock them out. Or with leftovers, I just live both hits. That head smash, man, did so much. That, that was fully physically defensive Toxic Bex, by the way. To take that little. Nice. Back in 17. Let's go. I've never seen someone willingly let me trap their Ferrothorn. Ooh, another zero. Come on, man. Give me, a, give me an easier time. It's cool. Uh, Banner Chief was pretty good. Head, my Head Smash is really good here, too, which is nice. I get to click Stone Edge with it. I'm going to start off with it. Now, they could easily just start off with Zara and beat me down, but I have to really rely on Lottie to knock out that Zara. Also, guys, today's the last day to get 30% off on G Fuel using uh, code AIM. G Fuel is a caffeinated energy drink, so obviously be aware. 18 plus of what you're drinking is caffeine. You don't want to get addicted. But, uh, especially if you're younger. But, um, the hydration line, though, fixes all that because it has zero caffeine, zero calories, zero sugar. Just tastes good. I recommend the strawberry lemonade. So if you want to get it, use code AIM. 30% off. Man, I... How much do you do? Now, I know for a fact you're not going to die. But, if Head Smash ever had a chance to KO you, now would be the time. I have to look. It does so much damage. Uh, we're going to U-turn here. I get a crit, and they are Rocky Helmet. I'll bring out Mana Buzz, because if they go zero, I can foul play them. Well, that has an unfortunate burn there. If I U-turn, they can... I'll still U-turn either way. Keep up offensive momentum. And now I'm going to head smash, because that should be a kill on something. Hopefully they go slow, bro, so it just dies. Yes! Okay, so this lands, it kills. Gone. Urshifu has been opened up. My friends, Urshifu has been opened up. That is it. And my opponent's not gonna like what's inside. Come here. That boy has been freed. That boy has been freed up. Woo! Torrent comes out. Do whatever it wants. Gonna head smash. Gonna bring out you and uh, Flash Cannon here. I just wanna force you to come in. Let me just Thunderbolt actually. Because if they go Landers, I go harder, Shivu. They could keep a momentum though. The biggest problem for me again is their Zero Aura. 
Yep, but they go for rocks. Nice. So we get the banded surging strikes out now. I think Torn lives, but ideally they're uh, they don't. <laughs> Obviously, ideally, some of them are not even running. Uh, oh, that's really good for Malati as well. Some of them are not even running um, Hurricane, so they might not even be able to touch me. I gotta be careful around Scizor. I have to use Magnus on to beat a one v one. We we'll go drill here. Do I get up rocks for Zera and Scizor? I'll throw off Toxic. As they are max speed, which is cool because that means they are most likely not Rocky Helmet. And with Sand Up, I'm hoping this two kill this just kills something. I gotta be very, very, very careful though. Alright, they give me Scizor. I am grateful for the Draco Meteor Resist are, a fly, are falling over. Yeah, so we get rid of Scizor here. This M game is going to be annoying, bro. I think I go Mandy. Awesome. Uh, they may not be able to kill me. Also, they're not bulk up, which makes a difference. Then again, if they're max speed, they're probably still not yet. But, same thing as before. Bring you out. Ideally, get a KO. If I'm able to iron defense up on Torn, uh, and as Lando dies, I'm in a, such a good spot. So, And I love that Arshifu was able to do this because Archeops clicked that smash. And Slubber died. Yeah, and they've been forced to pick ever since. Okay, good, 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 good. I can't switch. They clicked the wrong play there, that's for sure. I couldn't switch, though, into Lottie. Hey, we take those. Hell yeah. Woo! Complete choice banner Shifu domination. I couldn't switch. Uh, I couldn't risk Lottie coming in on a knockoff. Oh my gosh, why is there an Amoongus? Amoongus. Oh, but that Stone Edge looking hella fire, bro. It looking hella fire. Yo! What's up? Have fun. Now let me tell you something. Over that Kieran is not a scarf. Thank you. Appreciate you, buddy. I'm so weak to... I'm so weak to half these Pokemon. I'm leaving Lottie because if they lead Kiram and it's Scarf, it gets a kill versus me. If it's Specs, it gets a kill versus me. If it's Kiram, it gets a kill versus me. It looks like it's Kiram. Actually, let me offer some rocks first. I'm gonna get a rock, bro. I'm playing a game with rocks. I'm playing a straight up game with rocks, bro. Switch. I don't care about that mod at all. It gets set up for everything. This guy is wild, bro. You are wild. But then again, I just made the play I did, so. Hard Kyurem. It looks like it's sub Kyurem. Can't really do much versus that. A double to Volcarona there. Which gives me my free stone edges. And Lanners took a little bit of chip, so stone edge should smash everything. It two kills everything. Provided it connects, it two kills everything. I hope Lanners comes in and gets crit. I'm about to hit this ball up with the DPP stone edge. I wonder if their Feeny is scarf. Please land. 50%, bro. Yo! Ooh, ooh, crit this boy, crit this boy too. Crit this boy too. Ah. Always forcing the zone there. I don't know if they have U turn, but Corby being that low is great.
I wanted to U-turn, but I couldn't afford myself to. Nice, they got rid of their Choice Scarf, which actually helps me out here. I'm not always Thunderbolt. I'm gonna Thunderbolt here. Mm. Okay, I go Arshubu. Come on, bruh. Leftovers. You Rocky Helmet on this Amoongus? Because that crit matters then. I got the user. It is Rocky Helmet. Okay, I'm at 51 though, so that means I get a Stone Edge kill. On literally everything. One. That's gone. Everything dies. There's Corviknight. Come on, Archaeops. I believe in you, buddy. Basically, I can defog and I can healing with Archaeops to potentially win this. Eighty-one to ninety-six. Bro, if I get this, I can win. Mmm. Bro, I, I just want to get the roll. Like, ah, oh, they're max defense too. Alright, we just click psychic now. Honestly, should have just went Magnus on there, but I'm like hella, I'm hella into Arc. That, that was a misplay on my part. Should have just went Magnus on. I think it's still winnable though. Depending on a few things. <laughs> Need that misty terrain to end, bro. There's Volk. Gotta go harder, Shivu. They can't. Do you think they go Among Us here? Honestly, not sure. Yeah. I pick up Psychic KO most likely on Lanners and then Volcarona comes out again. Depends on their Volk set, I guess. Alright, so there's one kill there. Trick you. GG. Uh, I messed up. So what I should have done... Um, also, none of them ever run this. This set is just... Throw Certainly needs to change this. They run all in max defense. Uh, I was too enticed by what I wanted it to be than what it could have been and what it most likely was. So what I should have done was not Magnazone and then uh, later tried and trick. It would still would have been a little bit tricky versus that Volcarona, but I could have tried to trick it with Latias and lock it into Flamethrower and then um, stall it out a bit with Volcarona if possible. Ooh. I'm going to see if I can get a surprise KO on something here. Well, I mean, they're going to give me... If they're going to give me this turn one, I'll take it as well. I could have Mystical Fire on this thing, so what do you... Do you just go Hard Lele? Nice. You need plus four in order to kill Max Defense Feral Thorn with an extra belt. So we get that out of there. And then I get to defog these away immediately. Weavile is checked by Urshifu, so I don't got to worry about that. Let's go ahead and defog. I'm more likely to get up Stealth Rock here, so I'm just going to Foul Play for a little bit of Chip. And then there's no Stone Edge resist. So, oh, what if they go Hard Lele or like, Dragapult? Nice. I'm going to Roost first. And then we're going to go out to Magnus on here. Very good play on my opponent's part.
Were you not stealth mode on this thing? Like, <laughs> you're clearly stealth mode, right? Yeah, okay, so let me get that chip. Thank you. Perfect. Defog these away. I'm not as worried about Polk because I have... You know, I have a good switch in, and I don't really care too much about this thing. It's strong versus me, don't get me wrong, but... That boy did one. They might knock me off. I'm just gonna go for flash cannon anyway. Actually, tough turn because like, just defog. Perfect. All right, so I die here, which is great, and I potentially get rid of Lele's torrent. Gives me you to just click U-turn now. Perfect. By doing this, I'm opening up that too much. Okay, this is the situation I want. I want Archaeops in now. Perfect. Kill. So this is a kill. On something. Landers dies in one. Awesome. Okay, so that's what I wanted, bro. That's what I wanted, man. No more no more Landers crap. I want to be able to click Thunderbolt and get damage off, you know? So that's that's what I wanted right there. Shadow Ball come out most likely. Mmm. I think I bring out you and click Earthquake. Because I want to make Pult and Range of Psychic. Not that Psychic is good to lock myself into, but. Good, good, good. Get rid of you there. Perfect. Alright, so we get rid of Dragapult. Awesome. Obviously, Weavile is something that's still terrifying as hell. Keep you alive always. I double the zone here. Mm. Yeah, I double the zone. Very good play on the opponent's part for sure there. Very nice play. Good play clicking double knockoff. Very good play. If they give me Weavile, it might not matter. Hello? Are they doing this to go Lele after? Would you double back into Lele? Nope. Awesome, so I get to click Flash Cannon here, pick up a KO. I think I get two AKO by this though, right? If I had rabbits been here, it might be a wrap, but Oh, I think I still live uh, Moonblast. I live I live Scarf Moonblast for sure. I guess it comes down to this. Ah, good game. Yeah, so I, okay, what I had to do there was um double in her Shifu. I just wasn't sure how, like, if there were Scarf Respects, but, damn it. <laughs> no, another loss. I am liking Archaeops, though, and can I beat Stall? I don't know. I don't know. If I get an Earthquake crit turn 1, maybe. 
Like they're they're gonna be shut shell on their Corviknight. Are they not shut shell? Did they just commit to being like trapped? Yeah, I'm about to say like you're hella shut shell. They're gonna talk to me on my roost, but. Okay, we can get rid of this choice scarf at least immediately. What? Awesome, okay. This is definitely possible now. This is still possible for sure. They don't, they don't do enough to me here, so. They're not letting me get a bag face at all, are you? Who the hell is calling me? <laughs> uh, roost once. Really wish you had mystical fire, my friend. Alright, they just are burning. <laughs> I'm giving it back, it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I need to iron that into Corviknight to the point- What the hell is going on in this music? Right, I need to do this so I can get an arc off now. Uh, they're getting everything off of me. Like I, I don't know if I can break this. Even with Lottie not being dead there. Cause I can't touch the ninja. Did a lot actually. Okay. Maybe from this position I could do it if I crit Quagsire. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, hold up, hold up. If this lands, I can do this. Perfect. Still going for it again. We can head smash now. There we go. I think... I think I go Magnus on. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
No! Alright, this is a guaranteed kill on something. I'm gonna just throw it 27 to Quagjar as well. No! Bro! Come on, man. They have too many poltergeists left. Come on, man. If I can at least kill Corviknight, I have a shot. Because I can get a Brox, which will kill Shedinja. Well, I guess I'll just die here and let this mon do something. Look, this is gonna do this is gonna do f like thirty three percent, forty. Honestly, huh? Hold up. Well, I need an Archeops, but okay. Jirachi, 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 Jirachi. Jiraji Jiraji All I had to do was hit head smash on Corby man All I had to do was hit head smash on Corby Come on man After a matchup that looks like I just should straight up lose all the time Envy <laughs> Envy's team is scary <laughs> Yo Envy's team is hella scary bro what you doing Envy the weak is how to achieve with though. You too. That is a salt vest. Good to know. I can just roost up now. Get a little bit of foul play chip. Okay. I'm gonna start like that, that way I can just go on Shifu now and just click button. I wonder if they're Rocky Helmet, they have to be. Yeah, uh okay, that might be my demise, them them being Rocky Helmet. But then again, I do just click choice bad earthquake now. Not gonna predict, just gonna click Psychic. Yeah, this mod's annoying. Right, so that's an Earthquake kill. Peace. Need you for Reggie Alecki. You can beat all three of these guys, right? You don't die. And I just need damage on you. But I don't want to allow Diggers to be in either. Yeah. You don't die. 
Yep. There we go. Please be strong enough. No, I lost to Envy. Because I can't kill the damn Caldeo. Hey, right, I couldn't go out to Exeter there because if they got a sub, I lost. If I if I sat Exeter to Caldeo, I lost. On four. Good game. You just click Secret Sword, fam. I guess I could click Scald and Choke. I live and win. Damn it, man, this team is hard. Good game. Good game, Envy. Fake Envy beat me. I can't really complain about the Scald burn on Latios because that's what Scald's supposed to do, but. Damn it, man, that's hard. I guess what I. No, if I healing wish in the mana buzz will just get rocked anyway. So maybe I kill it with extra drill, and then go mana buzz and try and default, and then get Lottie to break the sub, and then head smash with Archeops, and then still have extra on the end. I'm gonna try for one more, guys. This team is not working very well for me, but it's fine. I mean, I like Stone Edge in this game. I also just like Archeops just getting a kill immediately by clicking head smash. I like Lottie getting a surprise KO on Dragapult too. I'm going to go for every surprise I can in this. Uh, Urshifu is going to be my, my way of winning this, but... And zone traps you. Helps me with you. You know what? Yeah, I knew that was going to be the lead of choice, but... And I want to try for my surprise KO, but... That's fine. Alright, so we know that's Spectacles. They go Rotom here. I just U-turn. I did a lot. Well, that was easy. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, that's good. Like, that's great. Like, that that, that just set the team. What the hell just happened? All right, so that's amazing now. We're going to go Lottie, just in case they, uh, they voltage out into the Dragapult. Get my surprise KO. Very nice play on my opponent's part. Time for me to get KO. Or we can Dragapult for Psychic. Yeah, nice. Alright, so Dragapult dies to Psychic now. Just in case the endgame comes to like these three being alive. I can always heal in which. Well, I'm glad that you turned there. It's the same thing now. I just click this again. Rotom comes out, it gets weakened. Landers dies, I'm, I'm good. Yep, nice. So get rid of Landers there, awesome. So my stone edges are going to kill things. We always go Lottie since we don't give up momentum by doing this. And we just drop a Draco for some chip. I gotta be careful about this scissor actually. So I gotta be, gotta be really, 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 really careful that I don't give it an opportunity to sweep me. So I can't go Magnezone. I gotta keep Magnezone alive. Sucks they crit me, but because that could live a volt switch. Just gonna defog if I can. I'm not gonna switch out into uh, extra drill. So they go for focus blast, which more than likely means their choice of X as well. Yep. So we get our KO here. Perfect.
As long as you're alive, that's all that matters. It's funny because you don't know if I even have Mystical Fire yet. Having to give up Pokemon though is annoying. I don't want it to be a Shifu. It has to be Archeops, but I don't want it to be Archeops either. Because I know just click Earthquake will actually go now and get a kill on one and these two all die. Alright, we'll sacrifice Shifu. Just gonna U-turn. All right, so Scissor can never sweep me now, and I'm not worried about I'm not worried about Pult. So now I just click Psychic and get a kill. That's awesome. Okay, you can use all of them if you want to. Yeah, well, that's game. <laughs> no, I want to get you with Archeops. I should just healing wish out to Archeops and click to head smash. That was my bad. I mean, we got a game there, but we didn't really get the Archeops to do anything. Oh man, Pedro just took a long time to respond to me. I'll go for another one. Why not? <laughs> and this, this is the trouble of trying to use him on like this. Oh my god. Strong team. Very strong. Lead Goat. Alright, I mean, Stone Edge, 2 kills everything. Literally. I'm pretty sure there's like 44% to Garchomp, so I'm pretty sure Hale lets me kill it. Oh, Corvina gets two killed as well if this lands. Woo! Maybe they'll double into Garchomp. All right, so giant threat gone. I get to clear Earthquake now. Shifu help me when which is those two. Magnus zone. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Maybe I'll thaw as they go hard nine tails or something and, and just they'll just die. A little bit unfortunate. Such is life though. Alright. Just gonna trick it with Latias if I can. So they hopefully can't do crap to me. They do have bug buzz, which is unfortunate as well. Mana buzz, I'm heavily relying on you to deal with these two. Just letting you know, buddy. I'm just gonna stay in. Because like I said, I'm mana buzz, I'm heavily relying on you. Nice. They're giving me a kill. I'll take it. I thought they'd be dragon dance, I'll be completely honest, but Awesome. They have very limited hail turns as well, which is good. And as long as Veil is gone and that mon is choice locked, or Shifu can get kill after kill. So I just sack Magnazone here. I think I just Earthquake. I don't die to low kick, so. That did zero. <laughs> that did nothing, bro. Aqua just looking okay. Gonna stay in and clear Earthquake again. Do some chip to you. Big chip. Okay, hopefully they're not rewarded for this. And they were not. Let's go. That's for the freeze, buddy. That is for the freeze, my friend. And now if they go into Volcarona and click Fire Move, I kill them with Urshifu, and then Mana Buzz wins. I mean, I didn't. I got to use Archeops to KO Corviknight, which meant that Earthquake obviously picked up KO of the KO. That game would have been a hell of a lot easier as well if I wasn't frozen. I basically just got a kill there. But all right, we got some wins back in the end. I hope y'all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. Choice by Archeops. 
It was really fun. I'm going to be completely honest. I know the team, the, the composition isn't like the greatest for wins, but <laughs> I'm enjoying it. I, I enjoyed using it. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace, guys.